What's up guys, JT Briggs here and welcome back to another LEGO review where today we are reviewing the Bruni the Salamander buildable character set. This is set number 43186, it has 96 pieces and it retails for $12.99 in the United States. Now, um, the way I acquired this set is I was at Walmart, I did a little LEGO haul, I talked about it on my Instagram, J underscore T gaming, not gaming, that's my gaming channel, sorry, JT underscore bricks, <laughs> I'm so used to saying that, but uh, I was at a little, I was doing a little Lego haul, I probably spent like 100 bucks, and I saw this one on the way out, and I was like, you know what, that's a cool little set, so I just decided to grab it up, not realizing how popular this set really is, um, when I posted about it on my Instagram, uh, everyone like, I got a bunch of DMs and a bunch of people were like, oh my gosh, you got Bruni the Salamander. And then I put him on the set of the day. If you don't know what the set of the day is, then you need to go check out my Instagram, JT underscore Bricks. Because I post daily sets reviewing them. So yeah, you guys need to go check that out. But um, yeah, let's first get into it. But before I get into it, make sure you guys subscribe with post notifications on and hit that little bell down below if you want to see more LEGO reviews because I am giving you guys a double upload this week. So first things first, let's push these back and let's actually look at Bruni himself. Give him a little spin. I really like this set. There's some really unique pieces. Push these back even farther. Let's let's first get into it. First off, he has these eyes that move back and forth, and you can actually adjust them because his mouth raises up. It raises up to show like this white piece that's I guess the top, and then he has his tongue right here, and then he has this like seashell. If you can see the seashell type, like bottom mouth or something. So it's a couple of moving parts. You just close it, and you push the eyes all the way up. Yeah, and then you can see he has this, uh, some sparkle type things, like, I guess that's pr prints, like, I don't know, and then he has some, like, pink diamond printing up here, which is really cool, he's got his two nostrils, looking quite nice, it's a nice headpiece, you see there's the, uh, mechanism to make it move, nice headpiece. Then on his little torso here, I'm going to raise the head up. He has just these, this kind of like very, very baby blue tent. Um, he's got his legs with these like these little pieces. Hold on. I see these pieces a lot in tons of builds. So that's his like feet. The like leaf looking things with the curved lines. Put those back. He has like a gray thing on the bottom. I guess just that's where it's... uh been built at uh on the side he's got this curved piece and then he has his like these i don't think they're supposed to be scaled but they kind of look like it then again you have that same like printing or whatever on this with a bigger pink diamond and two connectors at the middle the other side's the same way feet uh, legs curve scales stuff like that and then he's got this long, like, rubbery tail piece. It's like rubber. I think you can see it on camera. Yeah, see, it's two different tents. And this tent is the one that's rubber. So you can see it move. And this one won't. Yeah, so I think that's about it for Bruni. Yeah, let's give him a little 360. Show off Bruni here. I didn't realize how popular... Bruni the Salamander set was. Let's go ahead and put his eye back. Alrighty, let's push Bruni back and let's get into his little accessories. Let's first start off with, let's just first start off with this. Start off small. So he comes with a, uh, a little ice flake because it is from Frozen 2. Believe it or not, I don't have any Frozen 2 stuff to compare this set with, which kind of sucks, so... This is just like a, a snowflake, an ice flake, something like that. You can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six of these like little things. And these guys, a little leaf print design. One stud in the middle. 
doesn't go to anything. It just kind of is there to give the aesthetic of frozenness and winterness and stuff like that. So let's give it a little spin. Focus. Yeah. Let's put this back here. Now let's get into these little uh, marshmallow on a stick kind of things. So um, I think these are supposed to, you're supposed to roast them on the fire. Um, on the top, it's a different shaded tint than this. I guess it's because it's been burned, like it's been cooking or something. And you got your white big piece and you got your cooking marshmallow. This like tan tint and then you got completely white. Um, you got these cool brown pieces that uh, cover up like a little, I don't even know what to say, like a little, uh, another piece. To make it a big stick, I will have to say this is a fat, fat stick for a marshmallow. Then again, it's a big marshmallow. Then you got this like little branch type thing sticking out that you can turn. Let's give it a little 360 here. Let's put it back. Bring this one up here. This one, this one has not been cooking. It has the uh, white top. Then you got the white all around, so he's not been cooking. As you can see there. You got this big fat branch as well, so it's a big marshmallow. And then you got this, uh, this spinny thing again. So now let's bring the campfire up here. As you can see, it's like, it's not a normal color. And I will say, I love this color of fire. It's like this orange fading into a magenta purple type thing. And it looks so good. So let's go ahead and put this back in here. As you can see, we got a little campfire going. We got this amazing orange flowing into a purple flame. Then you got these like logs. There's four of them sticking out with this little log print you can see right there that's the log the end of the log same thing on all four sides and then underneath it there's like a gray piece I don't know if that's just to hold it up or if that's supposed to symbol a rock and then this like purple like stand kind of thing to represent to like compare with the the flame take this off and yeah put this back so that is um I think that's it for the set yeah let's bring everything up here like this and put it like this put it like this put it like um put them like this put them like this yeah so guys, that is Bruni the Salamander buildable character set, set number 43186, 96 pieces, retailing for $12.99 in the United States. Overall, I would give this set, even though I might have uh, gave it, given it a different uh, ranking on the set of the day, I don't really care, um, I would probably give this set probably like an 8.9 out of 10, probably a 9. Yeah, I would say, no, 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 I'm going to say 9.1 out of 10. That is the official ranking. So, guys, if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe with post notifications on. Make sure you follow my Instagram, JT underscore Bricks, and subscribe to JT Gaming on YouTube. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you guys in the next one.